so you just had your 15 minute callback appointment. They move forward, right? Well, not always. That's why your system should be built to have automated follow-up sequences for every one of the scenarios that could possibly come out of your 15 minute callback appointment. Here are the five that we typically see. Number one, they just weren't a fit at all. Well, this means that you don't want to follow up with them at all. The best example of this is maybe they have no teeth. Thusly, they would be a poor candidate for an oral appliance. Second outcome is that they weren't interested at all. They entirely declined for whatever reason, maybe financial reasons, and they just don't want to move forward. It happens unfortunately. But that's why you should have a sequence that instead of your staff having to follow up with them later, send them an email after the appointment, your system should do this for you. You should send them a nice kind email telling them they appreciated their time and we hope they would change their mind that they come back to you in the future. It shouldn't stop there because maybe something does change. Your system should automatically follow up with them later on, maybe about 45 to 60 days later, just to check in on them. See if anything has changed. Maybe their insurance situation changed. Maybe their symptoms got worse. Get to them before they start the research process over again. And you can become the candidate to help them in their changed condition. Another outcome is, hey, maybe they're interested. Yeah, they gotta check with their spouse. They need to check their insurance, check their bank account. We wanna do a little more research, right? They didn't say no, but they didn't say yes either. Hey, no problem. Again, your system should automatically send them an email thanking them for their time and providing them a link to schedule another appointment with you when they're ready to move forward. And then your system, again, should follow up with them, maybe a little sooner, maybe around 30 days, to see if they're ready to move forward then. Another outcome is that they didn't answer the phone. Despite all of our appointment follow-up efforts, they still missed the call with your team and your team left a voicemail. In this sequence, instead of your team having to follow up a bunch of times, call them five times that day, email them, text them, your system should automatically send them a rebooking link and follow up with them multiple times over the next week. The system that we've built follows up with our patients six times over a six day period via email and text message, offering them a rebooking link to get them started. One tip here on how you phrase your content, your emails and your text messages, is make sure that it's not accusatory. Don't tell the patient, you missed our call. Tell the patient, hey, it looks like we missed you. We'd love to work with you still. Use this link to schedule another appointment. And sometimes even the benefit of being in contact with these patients via text message and email already is that many times the patient misses the call for a perfectly human reason. Maybe when they booked the call, they had every intention of being available at that time. But life happens. Their dog got sick, their child needed something, uh, something came up at work, they just happened to miss the, miss the phone call. A lot of times, if you're in contact with them via text message already, they'll just text you right back and say, hey, can you call me now? So that's another great benefit of having this system in place and being in contact via text message or email. The last scenario is the good one. They're willing to move forward, they wanna get tested or do a consultation with the doctor. What your system should do next is send them a follow-up email telling them the immediate next steps of what should happen to receive a treatment. Many times, that's some sort of email from sleeptest.com or your EMR to fill out their patient files. Some of that just to tell them, hey, what's gonna come next? Because usually what's gonna come next is something that they haven't gotten an email from before, something that they specifically need to look for in order to do the next thing. And so this email really helps make sure that patients are know what to expect and are taking the next steps to move forward instead of just falling off the map. But then, your system really shouldn't stop there. Because if that patient's willing to move forward, you should use your system to get reviews on your Google business page. And so you should time this right around the time that they should be getting their oral appliance, maybe like 60 days, 50 days later. Have your system automatically start emailing that patient and texting that patient the review link to your Google business page for them to leave you a positive review about how great of an experience they had working with you. Your system shouldn't stop with just this use case of new patients. Think of all the scenarios that you have where you need to follow up with a patient that your staff is spending tons of time trying to get patients to do things that you need them to do. How many patients are you getting that ended up testing so severe they needed a CPAP? How many of those patients do you know are probably not compliant? You can use your system and your automated email system and texting system to follow up with this patient maybe 90 days later just to see how they're doing and see if they're compliant. Because hey, we really care about our patients. We wanna make sure they're getting the right treatment, right? But also, if we know that they're maybe not compliant and we're doing the right follow-up, hey, we find out they're not compliant, maybe they should come back to us and, and get an appliance anyways. 
And that allows us to, uh, another chance to serve them, find out they're not being compliant through just simple automated outreach. Maybe uh, your patients are not doing the testing that you're sending to them. We find this all the time, and so we like to automate testing follow-ups for patients that just aren't doing the testing that they should be doing, maybe through sleeptest.com or your sleep physician. But one of the best automated follow-up sequences and one that we know all of the most successful sleep practices use is what we call a use it or lose it sequence. Now, at the beginning of the year, your patients many times won't want to move forward due to financial concerns. And a lot of times they want to use their insurance, but they have a really high deductible. And so they don't want to pay out of pocket for the appliance. Fast forward to around September, October, end of the year, maybe they've used that deductible on something that they had to get done. Now is a great time for them to get their appliance because they may not have to pay for it out of pocket and their insurance will cover more of it. Are you following up with these patients from earlier in the year? All of the big practices are. And so your system should be built so that all of the leads that you've accumulated from earlier in the year should be automatically followed up with starting in around September asking them if they've used their deductible or are close to using their deductible and asking that this is now the time for them to consider moving forward with getting an oral appliance and sending them a link to rebook. This will help you maximize the, the marketing that you're doing all year around and pack your schedule at the end of the year. Just make sure that your emails and text messages contain the last day that they can schedule with you in order for them to get an appliance by the end of the year. For most of our clients, that's around Thanksgiving. So make sure that that's included in all of your content. So strategies like this will not only increase your return on investment for month to month basis, but also on a long term basis. It will also take a tremendous amount of time off your team's plate, having to do manual follow up with patients and actually require you to maybe even need less team members total in order to treat more patients. This is the power of building a long-term follow-up system and how it can help build your business for years to come.